Good morning. Welcome to this Monday Minute. Happy 4th of July. You know, when I was doing a devotion today and I was thinking about back when Israelite entered the promised land after they had conquered the cities of Jericho and Ai, they fulfilled what God told them to do in Deuteronomy 28, where half the tribe was to go up to Mount Gerizim and the other half was to go to Mount Ebal. These were two mountains that faced each other. And from Mount Ebal, they were to speak curses over Israel if Israel rejected and turned their hearts away from God. And from Mount Gerizim, they were to speak blessings when the nation of Israel was living for God. But I thought it was interesting that Joshua built the altar to the Lord on Mount Ebal, the mountain of cursing, that when a nation sins, they can come to God, as Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, and they can repent and they can confess their sins and turn back to God and God will heal their land and they will be blessed again. It's, uh, archaeologists have found a little um, lead tablet on the top of Mount Ebal that dates from the time of Joshua and it's called a curse tablet. And they did uh, some electro, my, electron microscope scanning of the tablet and found the name of God, Yahweh, a couple of times and found a list of curses on that tablet, fulfilling and agreeing with the word of God. But when we turn to the Lord and when we repent, we enter into the blessings of God again. Psalms thirty-three, twelve says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Let's make God the Lord of our life and the Lord of this nation. You have a great day. God bless.